mystery friend, Sarah here, and it is October, which in the YouTube writing community means it is Preptober, the time of year where we stop and get prepared for NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month, which happens in November. That's where we try to tackle writing a fresh novel, 50,000 words in one month. There are tons of amazing, amazing creators on YouTube that take you through how to prep a novel in October, how to get your life together, your desk together, even your food plan for the month together so that you can focus on writing these 50,000 words. My favorite at the moment is uh, Sarah Cannon at the Heart Readings Community. She even has a printable when you sign up for her newsletter. It's, she's a great resource. You can head on over to her, to her channel if you're interested in knowing more about Preptober. But because I personally am not much of a prepper, I have decided to take October and make it something different. Um, if you've been around for a while, you're going to know that I am not only a mystery writer, but I'm also a homeschooling mom. And so I thought October would be a great time for me to talk to you about what it's like to be a writer and a homeschool mom. And today we're going to go into what it's like to homeschool with special needs and with students with special needs, um, specifically dyslexia, because it is in my home. Um, a lot of my friends have it in their home, and it is much more prevalent everywhere than, um, than you might think, okay? One in five students are diagnosed with dyslexia. That's just a diagnosis. That doesn't mean, um, that doesn't even count for the ones that slip through the cracks or have never received a proper diagnosis for dyslexia, all right? So in our house, we deal with this on an everyday basis and October is actually Dyslexia Awareness Month, which is another reason why I decided let's make it homeschooling month since that affects our homeschool. There are so many resources out there for homeschool moms and dads who are dealing with this in their in their day to day life with their students. Um, the world out there as a rule will tell you that maybe you're not equipped to be a teacher to your student. However, in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, <laughs> being a homeschooler, so I am a little bit biased, if you've taught your child how to tie their shoes, if you've taught them how to use the toilet, you can teach them many, many other things. And there is a plethora of curriculum choices out there, of workshop classes out there to teach you how to teach your child. You don't have to do it alone anymore. You don't have to hide and do it anymore. Um, even if your student has special needs like dyslexia. So the rest of this video, I'm going to introduce you to three of my favorite at this time in 2022, favorite resources for homeschooling with dyslexia and helping my student reach the best potential they can reach because having a disability, having a learning difficulty, having a learning difference, doesn't mean you can't learn. It just means you learn differently. And learning how to teach those students will benefit everyone who has a student with this kind of disability, even if they're not homeschoolers. A lot of the things I'm going to show you, you could use no matter if you're homeschooling or not, and it would be beneficial for you, your student, and your relationship with your student. All right, let's move on to the first one. This resource was one of the first that I found when I was researching dyslexia a long time ago and looking up help for special needs in the homeschool community. And if you have ever searched homeschooling with dyslexia, you will find this website, which is homeschoolingwithdyslexia.com. But way back in the beginning, when we hadn't had a diagnosis yet or any of those kind of things, this mama's heart knew something was up and started researching homeschooling and dyslexia. And I found this amazing resource. I also found it at my local Chia convention in uh, California. And this website is run by a lady named Marianne. She is amazing. She has a lot of special needs in her family. So she's speaking from experience and education. She's gone back to school to be educated in how to help her students. And she shares with you how to help your students. My favorite thing about this website, other than it's super encouraging and super uplifting, is right here, the Beyond the Box Learning, okay? This was brand new when I started with uh, Marianne and Homeschooling with Dyslexia, but these are um, 
this is a mentorship program uh, where you're going to be able to hear people talk about how they handle special needs. You're, you're going to be able to listen to uh, doctors and providers talk about that. And you're going to be encouraged as you learn from other um, dyslexics who have become successful and are no longer in um, homeschool. But also there are these parent courses. These were my favorite. These were my best. Okay. I love these because they helped me out so very, very much at the very beginning. There are courses on everything that you could think of that would help you with your child. For anyone who wants to understand what dyslexia is, anybody who wants to know what ADHD or ADD is, anyone who wants to know if they should have their child diagnosed, if they want to know how what to do after they're diagnosed, where to find good curriculum, where to find adequate um, support for you and your children legally, all those kind of things can be found in these courses. And in fact, down in my description, you're going to find a link because I am an affiliate of this program because I love it so very much. Um, I can't thank Marianne enough for doing these kind of classes. Um, they're really inexpensive to take. You take them at your own pace. Last time I took one, it's been a little bit, but last time I took one, it was available in video. It was available in just your the the slideshow so that if you didn't want to listen or watch, you could just read it. And it was also available in a, just a listening format. I loved it. I loved how she is so gracious to the parents who are trying to help their kids um, and help them learn. In fact, even if somebody wasn't homeschooling and they thought their child was dyslexic or had ADHD or ADD or any other kind of special needs, I would highly recommend taking at least the first couple courses in this series because they just help clarify um, what to be on the lookout for, what to do if you suspect a special need or a learning difficulty in your family, and where to get help. They're so encouraging while giving you information that you really need to know how to get started and helping your kiddo. I can't recommend homeschooling with dyslexia enough. She is the first source I tell people to go to if I have friends ask me, I think my kid has this special need. I send them straight to Marianne. Um, and I encourage you to go straight to her too. Before diagnosis, after diagnosis, while you're still considering if you need a diagnosis or not. And that's homeschooling with dyslexia. My next resource for you guys is dyslexiagold.com. I learned about this from HSLDA, um, which is a website, hslda.org, that helps you know where your legal issues are for homeschooling, how to stay legal with homeschooling in your state, what kind of testing you need to have done, what kind of paperwork you need to fill out and all that kind of stuff. But they also have a special needs um, section that helps parents find resources to help their special needs students. And that is where I found Dyslexia Gold. I don't know why I have a lisp today, but I do. Dyslexia Gold is an amazing online program. You can use it um, on your tablet, you can use it on your phone. It does everything from helping reinforce phonics to helping with spelling and vocabulary, but it also has a program that helps your students strengthen their eye control. A lot of dyslexic kids also have eye tracking issues, which means their eyes jump instead of, let's, let's imagine you're reading down a page and you might just read, but like halfway at the midpoint, their eye might jump this way, or if they're reading left to right, their eye might jump this way. And it means they have to go back to the word before and find their spot and it, it makes the whole <laughs> learning how to read, learning how to decode these symbols into sounds, into words, that much harder when you can't control what your eyes are doing. So um, yeah, so Dyslexia Gold has a little program for that as well. It comes with these really cool 3D glasses that your student uses when they're doing the vision therapy issues. Um, I cannot recommend this either enough. Of course, I've already said that about homeschooling with dyslexia. And I'm going to say that about the next resource too. These are my family's go-tos because they've worked for us. Now, dyslexia gold, homeschooling with dyslexia, and the next curriculum that I'm going to show you isn't going to heal dyslexia. There's no healing your dyslexia. <laughs> it's part of how the person works. It's part of how they learn. It's just another learning um, avenue. In fact, Many children and adults suffer from dyslexia and the suffering part comes more from not knowing how to use it, in my opinion, but I'm not a doctor um, because there's a lot of strengths to ADHD, to ADD, to dyslexia, and a lot of those go together um, a lot of the time. 
they do in our house as well. And we have diagnoses here, but we also have people who are living without diagnoses that uh, you can tell have issues as well. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a monthly subscription. Sometimes you can get it through your homeschooling place for uh, a yearly subscription or a little bit less, but it comes in three different, uh, two different stages, actually. The early intervention, which it tells you right here, is reading unlocked. So that's like your phonics and engaging eyes. That's the vision therapy part of it. And then it comes in catch up intervention. That's for older students. That's going to have them reading and it will track how fast they read. Um, it has a times table thing because a lot of people with dyslexia also have uh, I'm going to say this word wrong, dyscalculia, dyscalculia, I say it wrong all the time, um, but they have trouble with math. It's the symbols flipping and it's the remembering the sequences and stuff like that. So the times table tutor really helps as well. Uh, where I recommend everyone starting if they can afford it, see these are UK prices, but there's a uh, US prices too, um, is this dyslexia screener, okay? Let's just say you don't really necessarily want to have your your student tested and you don't want a formal diagnosis or diagnosis can be rather expensive. Maybe you can't afford one at this point, but you just want to know as a mom that you're not going crazy thinking something's wrong. You would come on here. I would recommend you come on here and do the dyslexia screener. It's just going to help you know if the key symptoms your kid has is one of dyslexia or ADD or ADHD, that kind of stuff, and how you can help them. It's really cool. I I really like it because at the end of it, it tells you things. It gives you resources for other websites, not them, not just themselves. Um, it tells you your child might benefit from their program, but maybe from uh, some more like uh, Omega Oils, maybe some brain training. And it gives you resources to go find, to try. And I really appreciated that. I've sent a lot of my friends to this this screener when they're worried their children have dyslexia, but they don't know for sure and they don't want to go get them tested or they can't get them tested quite yet. Um, sometimes the testing for these kind of things, especially when it's with a doctor and your student is older, can be um, disheartening. And us moms don't <laughs> want to do that to our children. Learning is already hard enough. We want to encourage them, not dishearten them. So doing this little screener at home on your tablet on the couch hanging out side by side with your kiddo is a great way just to reinforce what you think might be going on or to help you see that maybe it isn't what you think is going on. We do this, um, the catch-up intervention. This is something we do nearly every single day. We, um, the engaging eyes is something we do almost every single day. The fluency builder we do almost every single day. Spelling tutor is a little bit longer of a program. It takes, these take about 15 minutes a piece. This one takes about 45 minutes for us anyway. So this one comes once or twice a week. And the times table tutor, we don't use it quite as often, but when we've been burnt out of our math program, we lean on the times table tutor to help us. I know my kiddo and I have seen significant um, improvement using Dyslexia Gold, but also because it gives them something as they progress in it, that they can do by themselves. One of the things that I noticed disheartening my student the most was their inability to work by themselves, especially as they're growing up. They're a big kid. They're a teenager. You know, their friends can all do this by themselves. Their siblings can do this by themselves. Sometimes it can feel like you're the only one who has to have help. And that can make my kiddo at least, and the others of my friends that I've seen, they can make them feel like a baby. And vision therapy, once the vision engaging eyes, once they learn how to do it, they can do that on their own. You can just sit there waiting, you know, for the next program. Um, a lot of the fluency practice now, a lot of that my student can do by themselves. Most of the time, all of it, but sometimes they need a little bit of help. The spelling tutor one, they need a little bit of help on because they actually have to write things down. But you don't have to do all of that all at one time. You can start really slowly and get your kid acclimated to it and get them growing in confidence for the program before you push anymore. And that's dyslexia goal. That's something we use pretty much every day. On to the next resource. Okay, so here we are to a curriculum. This is Blast Off to Reading. Oh, when I found this, <laughs> I found it on Amazon. I thought this is way too good to be true. 
Okay, a lot of dyslexia curriculums are really, really, really expensive. I know that I have bought a few that were $300 a box and there's like 12 or 13 boxes to the series. And then there are, um, are some that are $500 a box and there's six boxes to the series. I'm not saying those programs aren't worth it. I'm just saying they're really expensive. And to a family who's already, usually a homeschooling family is already living off of one income and trying to afford school and perhaps trying to afford therapies for their student, tossing in an expensive curriculum is not always <laughs> feasible at all. And Blast Up to Reading, I bought from Amazon as like a last minute impulse buy. And I tell everyone I know about it because it's amazing. So if you've gone on to the Marianne's, to Marianne's Homeschooling with Dyslexia website, one of the things you're going to learn in her classes is that dyslexic students need an Orton-Gillingham approach to learning phonics and language, okay? And the programs that she recommends are very costly, highly researched, valuable, but costly, okay? Blast off to reading is a, simpli a simplified version of those curriculums. I've linked the book down in the description box. The book itself is like $30, <laughs> okay, $30. And it's gonna take your kid through at least a year of learning the phonics. Your child might not even be able to get through the whole book because they might get stuck on things like silent E. That's where my kiddo got stuck for a long time. And you might have to go back and forth learning things a little bit more slowly than you might anticipate. The cool thing is the book itself doesn't tell you, hey, you must get this many chapters done in this amount of time. It allows you to grow at your own pace. But here is what sealed this deal for me and my kiddo is that inside this $30 workbook is a code to get you to this amazing website that you can use on your tablet or you can use on your computer that has games. Yes, games to reinforce what they're learning. You can shoot rocket ships from the sky, you build robots. Um, but not just that, it also has flashcards, digital flashcards to reinforce what you've been learning beforehand. Um, it has matching games where you can compete with your student for these words. And I cannot tell you how much help it is that when you're getting through a hard um, lesson with your student to have a game to play at the end. One that mom doesn't have to set up. It also has online letter tiles, which a lot of the Orton Gillingham curriculums have letter tiles so that they can move them around. You can substitute new words. They're, they are important, um, but it's not always possible to pull out all the tiles to work that, to take up that much space, to take up that much time, especially when you have other students. So if you're working with this with your student, you can literally grab your little tablet, get on the couch together and do this. And a lot of my friends' students and my students, they want the together time as they're learning these hard things because learning these hard things is scary. Um, but also, okay, so there's the flashcards, there's the letter tiles, and then it has dictation. Dictation practice is something that in all the other programs that I've worked with my, my kiddo, um, oh, it's like the bane of our programs. We hated it because, well, it's hard. It's hard to translate what they've just learned to see and hear into writing it down. It's a whole different process. Their dictations, your student can do by themselves if they want to. They can push play and do it and then you check it. Um, they check it. it. Again, it grows a little bit more independence so they don't feel like they are being babied. Blast off to learning is just, just amazing. All three of these resources are amazing. I would not tell you to get something that I didn't use or that I didn't think worked well for um, special needs families because who has the time or the money or the patience to keep investing in these programs for none of them to work? Now, I'm going to be flatly honest with you. By the time we got to blast off to reading, my student was a teenager. And we had already spent years using other kinds of curriculum, other kinds of programs. So yes, the things that we used in the past probably have helped 
laying foundations that helped blast off to reading and dyslexia gold be so beneficial to my student. However, the independence gained from both of those programs. I mean, I'm still there. I'm still helping um, with blast off, especially the first time through it. My kid needed a little bit more help, um, a lot more help because I needed to read the instructions to them. You know, they can't read, they can't read the instructions. And I had to mimic how to do it or not show, not mimic, show them how to do it so that they could mimic and learn what was expected, right? So it did take a little bit of time, but not as much as any of the other programs I have used. You can literally open the book and use it right there. If you didn't need to use the games or if you were in a position where you didn't have Wi-Fi, you don't have to do the games. They're optional. They just help submit things in a fun way. And special needs students <laughs> need the fun to keep them going. They need the little bit of whimsy. They need a little bit of comedy to lighten everything and to make the learning more interesting and more fun, at least in my opinion, they do. Um, and Blast Off to Learning gives that to you, uh, Blast Off to Reading gives that to you in a very inexpensive way, which I cannot believe they can afford to do. It blows my mind that for this $30 workbook, you're getting access to a complete website, full with games, flashcards, information, I don't know. It's amazing. So we've gone through Blast Off to Reading, the um, younger version of the book, once already, and we're doing it again this year. And then next year, we're going to graduate to the 13 plus um, book, which is basically the same thing, but it has less pictures and the font gets a little bit smaller, which is good because I need to start training my kiddo on how to read uh, writing that's not quite so bold and not so um, large print because that is easier for them to read right now. So that's Blast Off to Reading. And that wraps up my little introduction to my three favorite resources for homeschooling with dyslexia, for getting your day in order, for helping your student reach their potential. All of the links to all of the things which I've shared with you are down in the description box. Please use my links. Um, I do have a couple affiliate links down there if you wouldn't mind and support me a little bit. Every little bit you support me, I get to support my kiddo with dyslexia even better, even more and I get to come tell you about these amazing resources that I find to help that help my family and that hopefully will help yours. All right well I will talk to you later where we're going to be talking about homeschooling and teaching how to write mystery novels as part of your homeschooling curriculum. See you then. Hold up editing Sarah here. I forgot to tell you my very first book Diary of a Dyslexic Homeschooler is in the description box for you for free for the month of October. So go snag yourself a copy of Diary of a Dyslexic Homeschooler and be encouraged. Bye.